My name is Minju Chen, and my serial number is 1009-841-058. And my name is Jeffrey Wu. My student number is 1009927992. Jeffrey Sumtown, Taoyuan, and my hometown Taipei is both in Taiwan, with a large difference in total population. We are able to predict the population based on our model considering several factors. For both of the predictions of our model, we assume that until the year 2100, factors such as the healthcare system, political issues, and potential pandemic breakouts will not affect the population. The three main factors that we included in our model is death rate, birth rate, and migration rate. We predicted that the death rate would be similar, similar in Taipei and Taoyuan uh, because they are both in the same country with similar healthcare systems. Yet we predicted the birth rate and migration rate differently. However, we modeled the birth rate differently. The maternity benefit in Taoyuan is 30,000 NTD compared to Taipei's 12,000 NTD. Therefore, the birth rate in Taoyuan in Jeffrey's model is much higher than mine, triggered by a large incentive. Another factor that we predicted differently is the migration rate. Taipei is a more developed city compared to Taoyuan. Therefore, the net migration rate in Taipei is predicted to be higher than Taoyuan's. Upon comparing our population models, a distinct difference emerges. While my model maintains a stable linear growth, women's population exhibits a more complex pattern, incorporating linear, sinusoidal, and exponential graphs. Notably, by the year 2050, women's population expresses a skyrocketed trend, reaching a growth rate of 6.2%, in contrast to my stable 1.2% growth rate. By the year 2050, uh, 2100, the disparity becomes more pronounced, with my growth rate, growth rate at 1.3% and Minmin's at 9.3%. This suggests that Minmin's population model, with its logistic exponential prediction, is more likely to accurately represent real-world scenarios compared to my linear model, which may be less reflected of population dynamics. Our population models for Taoyuan and Taipei reveal significant differences varied birth rates, influenced by maternity benefit and distinct migration rates contribute to divergent growth trajectories. While Taipei's model predicts higher migration due to its development, Taoyuan's elevated birth rate, driven by incentives, results in a substantial disparity in long-term population projections. Thank you, everyone.